It's no secret that AI browsers are the future. However, most people are still using Google Chrome. And that's because most of them are paid and do not care about your privacy or security at all, especially the popular ones. However, that's not the case with Neo. This is an AI browser that's not only free, but it's also developed by a cybersecurity company. And the best part is, it's very easy to set up. Let me just show you. So Neo really takes the game of AI browsers to the next level. As I said, it's a free browser that's built with safety in mind. And that is a completely different approach than the other AI browsers which are optimizing for ads and data collection. But the cool thing about Neo is that it still has all the powerful AI features that you might need in an AI browser, such as magic box, tabless browsing, peak, ad blocker, typing assistant, and much, much more, all of which I'll show you in this video. So make sure to watch until the end. So to set up Neo browser, click the first link below the video, and this will take you to the download page where you can select your operating system. Neo is available on Windows, which is not the case for many other AI browsers. Now, since I'm on Mac, I'm gonna select download for Mac OS. Boom, and this will begin downloading the installer. Once the download finishes, double click on that file and it will open the step-by-step -step Neo installer. So just click on continue, then, it asks for space, click install, and simply click through the steps like with any other app. Okay, so the first step in the onboarding is to ask for your name, super simple, David. Then you can import your data. No matter if you use Safari or Google Chrome, Neo has a super easy way to import your data, such as bookmarks, browsing history, all that stuff, into Neo browser to make the switching even easier. So I'm gonna select Chrome and click on next and click next again. Then let's pick a theme. Obviously dark mode is superior. There's no question there. And there we go. This is what Neo browser looks like when you first open it. Super clean, minimalist, but very, very powerful. Now, the first thing you should know about Neo is that it has a built-in ad blocker. So you don't need to install or download any other extensions, which is the exact opposite of OpenAI's approach when they're just releasing ads into ChatGPT. So the central thing about Neo browser is the prompt input, also known as the magic bar. And this really merges all of the actions that you would do inside of a browser into a single UI component. For example, you can do a prompt, what are some recent AI papers released this week that I should look into? And now Neo starts browsing the web and <laughs> that was very fast, okay? So in a matter of like two seconds, it pulled up five different research papers from archive. Now I can tell it, explore these papers and tell me which of them is the most unique or interesting. So it's literally automating browsing Stuff like, you know, normally you would have to read the paper or at least copy paste it into some LLM. Now, Neo does that for you. So when you highlight any text, for example, I'm here on the official NA10 GitHub. So let's go to the quick start and let's highlight NPX NA10, right? So maybe you're not sure what this means or what it does, how it works. Well, guess what? You have this Neo button, which you can either ask, boom, and this will automatically open the sidebar with Neo chat, or you can do the other button, which is summarize. And this will explain that concept in the Neo chat on the right. So really the Neo chat is like while you're working on a website and if you're doing something from scratch, then the home page of Neo is where you should start. By the way, on the left, you have the sidebar. So you can either have, you know, your browser tabs on the top or you can have them in the sidebar. And by the way, all the keyboard shortcuts work. So I'm just pressing command T to open a new tab and uh, command W to close it. So yeah. Now say you wanna do efficient browsing, right? You still wanna be involved. There's a super cool feature called Peak view. So I think it'll be best if I just show you. Tell me about the Cursor 2.0 update, right? So it's one of the biggest updates in the history of Cursor. So obviously here we have the overview, but let's say you want to go into a specific source. For example, this one, you have this peak, right? So when you hover over it, you click peak and you don't have to switch tabs. This is just a quick sneak peek of that website. And like, maybe you don't want to explore it. You can close it. Maybe you want to explore this one. Then you would do full screen and boom, guess what? It's a new tab. So this is something super efficient that you will find inside of Neo browser. Now, one of the most powerful and overlooked features inside of Neo is snippets. And you can find it right here in the chat or just type in slash, which brings out the snippets. I mean, this feature alone will save you hours per week. You can summarize anything, explain like a five pros and cons, Whatever you might ask, it's here in the snippets. So you literally like one click it and you can still type, you know, your prompt, but you don't have to type the whole snippet. And look at this, an entire well-crafted prompt gets inserted into your last message. So let's say you're writing an email and your grammar is not the best, right? So here, this is an email to Sam Altman. So even though this has a lot of grammar mistakes, we can use the Neo highlight to correct this and make this email proper, polish it up, 
and make it grammatically correct. And as you can see, Neo has rewritten the email so that it follows the prompt, right? Now it's clearly a lot more professional. Not only does it not have any grammar mistakes, it's just worded and framed more professionally. Another great feature inside of Neo is the tab grouping. So the way to think about it is that the tabs inside of Neo organize themselves and you can see these different colors of different sections based on what you're doing. So you can see that on the top left, I have the email tab group right here. And then we have the Neo tab group, but let's say you want to create a new one manually. So go to the top right, click on the three dots and then click on tab groups and create a new tab group. You can give it a name such as research, boom, blue color, and you can select to either move it to a new window or open a new tab in this group. And the nice part is that when you click on the header of the tab group, it closes all the tabs so you can stay organized while still having a lot of tabs open. Now, if you want to turn the smart tab on and off, you can just click this button and disable it or enable it. You know, if you're doing a lot of different work, a lot of different tasks, and a lot of research with lots of tab, this can be very useful. But if you want to turn it off, it's in the very top right. Now let me show you how the Neo chat works. So this is a button in the top right, and here I'm on a website of the Neo robot, which by the way is a, from a completely different company. So let's see if the Neo chat knows that. So I'm going to open the assistant on the right. So I asked, what is this robot? Is this affiliated with Neo browser? And let's see if Neo chat knows that. So I'm going to expand this. Assuming with the Neo Home Robot on page, consumer robot, and it's not affiliated with Neo Browser, so that is correct. It knows that these are completely two different products despite a similar name. Next, I'm gonna ask it, send me a YouTube video that showcases this robot in action. And Neo Chat is processing results. It's browsing many sources very fast, you can see. It processes like five YouTube videos in a matter of one second. And here we have the official demo, review, and yeah, anything you might need while still being on the website. This is the future of web browsing. Now, another thing you can do is you can have Neo remember stuff about you, such as, remember my preferred answering style? I want you to always answer in short, and you send it, and it will save it into its long-term memory. That way, your preferences are applied every single time without you having to repeat yourself over and over and over again. Another thing that's super OP is the Neo reminders. So if you go to the left, you're gonna see this bell, and you can see that right now, <laughs> it knows that I have a call on December 5th, which is kind of crazy. And you can just see this, and these are actually intelligent, useful reminders, right? So most applications and browsers have like spammy notifications, you want to turn it off. This is not the case. The Neo reminders are relevant to what you're doing, and they're clear, useful, and straight to the point. The way it found this, I suspect, is from my email, right? So earlier when we were on the email, I was using Neo Chat, right? And then Neo Chat had access to the inbox, and it saw that I had this meeting scheduled on December 5th. Also, another thing is that Neo creates a custom feed for you, right? So at the bottom, you can see that we have this news for you, and here you have relevant articles that you probably would be interested in, right? So instead of like blindly browsing news and finding one interesting article that's for you, this is your own feed where everything is relevant to you, right? <laughs> this is very relevant to me, guys. All of the, like, AI news, math, everything will be personalized. The future of any media, any software is personalization. And Neo Browser is the clear example of that. Now, as you can see, the Neo Browser is very powerful, but the main thing is it's focused on privacy and security. So, if you want to try it yourself, Neo is opening to public today. Yes, today Neo is becoming publicly available before it was early access, so they gave me early access because they were kind enough to sponsor this video, but now it's available to anybody. So click the first link below the video and make sure to join their Discord server as well. That's going to be linked below the video as well. With that being said, thank you for watching and have a wonderful rest of the day.